Now to Colleen, where one man is giving us a first-hand account of how he and his roommate survived an armed robbery. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne is in Colleen tonight with this exclusive report and the advice police are giving people in the situation. Imani. Doug and Leslie, I'm here at police headquarters where I picked up this report filled out by Colleen resident Brandon Smith that lays out the horrific details of this incident. He hopes sharing his story will prevent it from happening to anyone else. I mean, he's a killer. He's, he's going to end up killing somebody if the Killing Police Department does not catch him. Brandon Smith still recovering after allegedly being shot in his home and then robbed. It happened in the 5700 block of Dan Drive last week. Smith says he and his roommate were in the process of selling an item to the suspect through an online site. Smith's roommate supposedly invited the suspect to their home to pick the item up. That's when Smith claims the suspect attacked his female roommate. And when Smith tried to intervene, things took a turn for the worst. And I just saw the flash and bang of a gun. My ears rang, and after that, I just I thought I was dead. Smith says the suspect shot him, the bullet grazing his stomach and going through his hand. He says while he lied bleeding, the criminal then tied his roommate up and blindfolded her. He took his time. He went through every drawer and every room in our house. So he took the time to smoke a cigarette in the house taking a break, put the cigarette out on our couch. Smith was taken to the hospital and is awaiting hand surgery. Police say instead of doing an online exchange at your home, use the KPD safe exchange zone. Smith says he plans to be much more alert in the future, but does want the criminal off the streets. And next time he may not be lucky enough to just graze somebody or just shoot them through their hand. He's going to kill them. The suspect is described by police as a black male who took off in an older model white sedan. An investigation is ongoing. If you'd like to donate to the victims, visit our website. That's KCENTV.com. Reporting in Colleen Imani Payne, Channel 6 News.